All right, YouTube, we just opened our Fab Quality DJI booster. We get the two boosters, which are pieces of plastic with like aluminum foil or some sort of reflective material on it. You get a microfiber cloth, which is nice. And you get these super cool stickers. And it's one big sticker, so I guess you gotta cut them to size or use them as one big picture. But you have like Inspire One, Phantom, Star, different numbers, Ultra 4K HD, CSC, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4K, 45, charge only one device at one time. Okay, so a little bonus sticker action and then just the uh, boosters themselves. So let's see if it works. All right, what's up internet? I have my extenders on, I have my new tablet, controller. There's our Phantom 3 Pro. And uh, we're on top of this hill. There's Cal State University East Bay. Hayward Hills behind me, and then downtown Hayward. Straight ahead, you can see the San Mateo Hayward Bridge that brings you into San Mateo. To the right over here, if you look straight in the center of your screen, that's San Francisco. You got the Bay Bridge to the right of San Francisco, Angel Island next to that. The other city you see straight ahead of you is Oakland. And so this is a good spot to test the distance of the drone. Also, we want to check out this display. So first things first, uh, let's put the sun on the display. So the sun's shining on here now. Um, but let's go ahead and plug this in. And once I plug it in, as long as it's unlocked, it should auto detect. So we're unlocked on the tablet. Plugging it in. Plugged in, it should prompt us whether we want to lose, use lychee or, well actually gotta turn on the controller first. Okay, controller's on, should prompt us. Let's go to DJI Go. All right, we got this on max brightness. Here's what it looks like with the sun. It looks dull, but it's actually very readable right now. I think this is just the camera. I mean, there you go. And that's with the sun. This is me blocking the sun. So really good image. I mean, it's five times better than my cell phone. So far, really good. So now we're gonna test out these Wi-Fi extenders, and here we go. It's about to lose signal right here, and then it starts to return to home. And I'm gonna turn it back around and see if I can get a little further. The drone was very up and down, like it was, my signals were going up and down. It was not uh, consistent going from like three bars to black, and uh, eventually it didn't like it again. I tried going up to see if maybe I can have a better line of sight that way. Uh, but it ultimately turned around again. So here's the part where I started to go vertical. So there you have it. Here's the screenshots that I took that I also put in the video. Uh, they were cool. They were not amazing. Maybe you'll get an extra couple hundred feet with direct line of sight. As far as objects, you're still going to have an issue going through objects. You know, for a couple bucks, they're worth it. But anything more than that, they're really not a huge difference. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.